everyone, welcome to another edition of Jazz Alley TV. I'm your host, Kenny Martinez Bergmeier, and we're back on location on the islands of Hawaii. And this show is going to feature from the island of Hawaii, John Keave, a slack key master getting known throughout the world. We're going to show John performing at the Maui Arts and Cultural Center, over on Oahu, and over on the Big Island at the Hilo Slack Key Guitar Festival. All coming up on this special edition on John Keave on Jazz Alley TV. Aloha, I'm John Keave, and uh, I'd like to take all of you on a little musical journey of my life here on the Big Island. So come with me. Aloha. My grandfathers both played Hawaiian slack key. They passed away when I was very young. Um, in fact, one of them passed away before I was born. And they both played, and the stories that my parents say that they would sit on the porch and play in the evenings, you know, and the music would drift out towards the ocean and the wind would kind of blow it back and so it was soothing and haunting. So I, I wrote a song for them as a tribute to both of them. This song has a lot of truth in it and a lot of wishful thinking. If I had known them, maybe this is how it might have happened, and I call it Tutu Slack. When I was just a little boy, my tutu said to me, do me one favor, and in your lifetime, learn to play slack. Yes. 
passing away with a peaceful smile when he heard me play his slack key. Writing songs for me has been a dream ever since uh, I used to, since high school. I used to write a lot of poems, poetry, and actually, what X gave me a, an idea to try and write a song was when, uh, if you remember, in the old days, in the '70s, they had the homegrown contest that the radio stations uh, put on. So I started to put one of my poems into into song. And uh, that's what led me to songwriting, which is a lot different from poetry, because in a song you have to tell a story in, <laughs> in three or four minutes, you know? And, and my dog is telling a story right now. Don't go away, we'll be right back with more of Slack Key Master John Keave from the Big Island of Hawaii on Jazz Alley TV. Welcome back. I'm John Kelvey and this is Jazz Alley TV. And here's a little bit more of my music here on the Big Island. I'd like to present my wife Hope to do Hi'ilawe for you. John Kiave is like a brother to me. He's a wonderfully talented musician, very gifted performer. And uh, what few people know is that he's also a terrific teacher. He really uh, helps us to perpetuate the culture of the Hawaiian slack key guitar. John makes great records and has a wonderful, unique sound. He um, often plays um, a core guitar with a core soundboard, and he really gets a, a beautiful sound from, from that instrument. He and Hope are really dear friends of my wife and I, and we really love them, so I'm, I'm so grateful for his continued success. He deserves it.
Well, you know, I came out of the service in the 70s, the early 70s, and that's when I got interested in Hawaiian slack tea. It had been around me all my life, but I never paid attention to it, you know. In the 60s, 70s, I listened to, to rock and roll like everybody else did. And I played that in high school. We're in a band. But when I came out of the service, I heard Gabby Painui's uh, Brown album, as everybody calls it, the Gabby band. And the sound of the guitars, I couldn't figure out what was going on. So I, I kind of started to get really interested in slack key, and I listened to anybody that I could. And being that my grandfather had passed away, so I didn't have a, an elder to watch. So I, I'd go to parties and watch people play, and uh, I'd buy records and try to figure out what they were doing. My lovely wife, Hope. Mahalo. Thank you. What really caught me was I was beginning to write songs about the same time. And um, people like Kyola Beamer was just coming out. And being that he was more a contemporary player and he wrote songs in the slack key. So I thought that would be my niche. You know, I can, that's what I want to do to, to write my own songs and, um, and share them with people. So I watched and you learn things, you know, the basic slack key turnarounds, and then sooner or later, you find yourself with your own style. And to me, the biggest compliment was the first time somebody came up to me and said, I heard this music on the radio and I knew it was you. So then you know you're, you're doing something that's a little different and not getting away from the slack key traditions, which is, what it's supposed to be. I mean, you, you keep the tradition, but music, like everything else, progresses. You try to add your own feelings into the music, but still, when you hear it, you know it's slack key. Them, you can tell they're from the Big Island, just the style of um, uh, slacky that they play. You know, you know that's the Big Island style. You know, Maui don't have it, or Oahu don't have it. We might have it, but you know, we call it like imitating. You know what they got up there, but that's his own style, and it's a wonderful style that he's doing in uh, Kihualu. Listen to people, whatever's around you. Listen to what people say. Sometimes it's a little phrase will, will be the beginning of a song or, or an experience that your friends go through or, you know, your family. There's so many. And sometimes a melody will come to me and I won't question it. I'll just go with it and not try to name it. You know, sometimes I've, I've had written songs with a specific idea in mind especially vocal songs, you have to have an idea. But instrumentals, I don't worry about it. I just play with it, and when it comes, it comes. And sometimes later on, you'll wonder, you'll be playing the song at a certain place, and you'll say, this is what that song is about. You know, sometimes you write it, and it names itself. And don't go away, I'll be right back here on Jazz Alley TV. And right now I'm just sitting at Kapa'a Park on the Big Island doing a little fishing. Aloha. Aloha, 
Well, welcome back. My name is John Chiavi. And right now, here's some more of my music here on Jazz Alley TV. to laugh and sing 
A beautiful song written by Jerry Santos. Thank you so much. Well, here we are at Kapa'a Park in North Kohala. And it's a nice little beach park where I I come to fish once in a while when I have a chance. And as you can see by my big fishing rig here, it's not for sport. I just come here to relax, get a little pole, put a little sinker on it, on the line, put a hook on it. See, real scientific stuff here. Sinker, hook. See that big hook? It's for the monsters. Tie a little knot here. Pull that hook, put a bait on it, and ready to go. Now, Kapa'a Park here is where um, my kids, you know, we used to bring my kids to swim, and right down there, there's a little, there used to be a little pond, you know, we just kind of moved the rocks out, and there's, the little kids can go just wade in there, and the other bigger ones can venture out. And, so it's kind of been a family thing. My, my parents used to bring me here too. So whenever I get a chance, I come down here to go fishing. I just like to sit on the rocks and uh, reflect because it's so quiet down here. And I usually walk in about a mile that way, a place called Haina Point. And I go early in the morning, I stay for about a half a day. And usually I don't see anybody, you know. It's, I don't see a human being. It's just the lapping of the waves. And your own thoughts, actually, that you can hear. And if I go home with fish, it's cool. But that's not why I'm here. I just want to go and relax and just have some time to think and reflect about things and the past. You know, sometimes you get... You're sitting right here at the ocean. You got the, the sky, the land, you know. This bit makes you think about the old Hawaii, and you know, maybe my my forefathers, my ancestors gathered food right here in, in, in Kapa'a, you know. So there's a lot of history and things, and mainly it's just for me to relax. See that hook? Man, you got the white lens for that? See how small it is compared to my hand. <laughs> no big fish here. <laughs> Not a big game hunter. And for bait, we usually use shrimp. Uh, Ika, or sometimes even bread. You know, just a roll of white bread, you kind of roll it up, put it on the hook, and the ninui, they like this. The ninui are good fighting fish. Uh, it takes a while to get them in. For a small fish, they, they fight really good. Don't go away, we'll be right back with more of the amazing slack key sounds of John Keave. And right now we're on his home island on the big island of Hawaii at the beautiful Hapuna Beach Prince Hotel on Jazz Alley TV.
Allen. Welcome back to Jazz Alley TV. And right now we're gonna take you back to more of the slack key sounds of Master John Keave on Jazz Alley. You know what? Why don't you follow me up to my house and see where I live? See what the kind of experiences I had up there at Kau Homestead. Come on. Okay, this, uh, this house here is called, well, this whole area is called Ka'au Homestead. And in the old um, Hawaiian land division, the Aapuai, it runs from the mountain to the ocean. So there's a strip of land here, shaped like a V, starts at the mountain, goes all the way to the ocean. And I grew up here. Uh, my dad bought this place back in 1950 when I was a year old. So you know how, you get, can you add? You can figure out how old I am. Um, but, Ever since a year old, this is the place that I grew up in. And this old house, um, the same color, the same red roof, and I even wrote a song about this in 1970, 79, uh, called Ka'u Homestead. And it mentions the old red roof and the faded green house. So, I, a little funny story that my, my dad wanted to paint the house back in 1980s, and I had already written the song, so. I told him, you can't paint the house, you're gonna mess up my song because I've already got the line of the house, the red roof, so I feel kind of bad. We didn't paint it till a few years ago, but as you can see, it's so old, the paint, the wood just sucks that paint up. So it ended up faded green and red roof again, so it, my song is still works. John has that mellow style of slacky. When he plays, it, it's a, as if both he and the guitar are one. So he has that feel. So when he's performing, when he plays the guitar and everything else like that, it's him that is playing. It's him that's the guitar. It's him that the sound comes out of. So everything around him, his music, his style of music is, is, is linked together. So that's his style, I think. That's what I, that's what I, uh, I, I get when I listen to, him, to his music. My companion who usually goes fishing with me is a good dog. I've always had dogs and he, when I go fishing, he eats my bait. So I end up sometimes with no bait, but that's okay. He's good company. Well, don't go away. We'll be right back with more of Slack Key Master John Keave on Jazz Alley TV. Welcome back to Jazz Alley TV. And now we're going to take you back to the Maui Arts and Cultural Center to hear some more exciting sounds of John Keave. A few years ago, my wife and I had a chance to go to Hana, which is on the island of Maui on the east side. And we had never been to Hana, never had a chance to go to Hana because if you've been to Hana, you know that you need a few extra days, uh, well, a few extra hours, an extra day at least. It's such a beautiful drive in there. We live here in North Kohala, and we look at Maui every day. And we often wonder, you know, we want to go to the east side and see what's there. It just seemed kind of mysterious to us. So when we finally went, the people treated us so good, so much aloha, and the beauty of Hana, the waterfalls, the trees, and 
It's an awesome place. I'll never forget it. And I've been there several times since my first visit. But when we came back to Kohala after our first visit, we opened our door and looked across the channel. And Maui was still there, but it felt different because we had experienced the beauty of Hana and the aloha of its people. All the memories of our first visit to Hana is in this song. Again, my lovely wife, Hope, called Hana by the Sea. Such a sweet and peaceful feeling surrounds me, surrounds me. Gentle breezes blow to shore, vibrations of the ocean's roar has found me, has found me. Okay, here we are at uh, Kapali. You saw me uh, doing some big game fishing there, uh, relaxed time. Played some of my kihualo for you, some slack key, and you know a little bit about my songs. But today, it's actually, I have to go all the way to Hilo. There's a slack key festival the East Hawaii Cultural Council puts on. And I actually got to work today and play music. It's not work, it's play, but I got to travel all the way to Hilo, which is about an hour and a half.
Piave is one of a kind. There's a lot of them, but there's all people like Gayabi, like Ata Isaacs, uh, Uncle Sunny, Uncle Eri, uh, Kamai. Um, all these, all these people have opened the doors for John, and I think he's using that opportunity well with his music. So, um, to John and Hope, congratulations! I hope you folks to continue because you are the leaders for the next generation, and uh, without you, things in the past can be lost. Aloha. Don't go away, my name is John Kiavi, and I'll be right back, right here on Jazz Alley TV, all the way from the Big Island. Thanks for joining us for another edition of Jazz Alley TV. I would hope you enjoyed this Hawaiian beautiful special on Slack Key Master John Keave. His sounds are getting known throughout the globe. And stay tuned as we continue our journeys of traveling around the world to bring you the finest in Hawaiian jazz, blues, world music, and so much more. I'm Kenny Martinez Bergmeyer here at the beautiful Tedeschi Winery up in Ulapalakua on Maui where we're filming some of their 30th anniversary, which will be a future show. So we'll see you next time as we travel around the world for you. Aloha and ahui ho. Sail across the ocean, oh so deep. Slide upon a rainbow as you sleep. asked me one time, how do I describe my music? And the first word I can think of is honest. And I want my music to be honest, to express my feelings about, about anything, you know? Like I said, my family, my life, Hawaii situations. I want people to know by listening to my music, they'll know, better understand what kind of person I am. And that I think I'm an honest person. I know I'm an honest person. I have an honest family, and that's what it's all about. It's nothing fancy for me. I just write my songs, and if people want to accept it or embrace it, that's fine. And if they don't, then that's fine too, you know. We feel the music in our souls. We keep them in our prayers. Because each one had his trademark. They could make their guitar sing Different styles they shared with us They are the slack key kings He lives through his slack key and he's very passionate about this uh, indigenous knowledge that he's inherited and it's so important, yeah, and he, I know that he takes very meticulous care about how he, he does his performance and how he, he tries to get across to the people how special Slack he is. So uh, I, I'm proud to be his, his friend and, I, and to know that in my lifetime, uh, uh, passing through his life, I'm, I'm one of his friends. Sunny chilling room.